That bit is Mike from Mike's Homestead, and I'm going to show you Dan, on our farm. Well, everybody, I apologize for the wind, but I just wanted to show you this is where I grew up. This is just a rough idea of the land that was around me as I was a kid. A lot of them houses up there are fairly much newer. Um, that house right there actually was a schoolhouse about 100 years ago. And this is just the back side of the farm. It was a shed. Now, once again, sorry about the wind. It's always real windy out here. But here's more of a front view of the barn itself. used to be a little shed but we tore that down and built this fancy thing but we've been using it for a calf pen here we got some little guys these guys are only a few weeks old actually yep these are all beef cattle that right there is going in the freezer okay let's step in out of here and into the barn used to be a dairy farm but these days my stepdad has been focusing more on beef cattle so this used to hold I believe 44 cows you could milk in this thing but um you know like I said now it's baby calves kind of see look at them staring at you hey how's it going buddy oh he's coming for something to eat Oh, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. Oh, I'm gonna get you guys. <laughs> How you like me now, buddy? Right. I'm gonna lock down the other end. Yeah, and take a little look. This is pasture back here. This is where they tend to hang out during the day. Take a walk over here. This is the feed room. Might be a little hard to see, there ain't a lot of light in here, but that's actually the silo and the little feed room. And then this used to be the milk house. milk tank, I want to say right around a thousand gallons or so. And, yeah, like I said, we don't milk them much anymore other than a few milkers here and there for baby calves. Okay. Now that there is a hay drying barn. We built that, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. 
it's actually got um, ductwork that runs underneath of it and huge fan system. You know, my, my stepdad used to make jokes all the time that's our bunker under there. It's all concrete. And we got some silos. Hello up there. And then we're walking down into the block shed is what we used to call it. I guess Grandpa built this when Dad was little. <sighs> Currently nothing in there right now. I know my dad's doing some concrete work back there. My cows just ran across it, so they're kind of fixing it right now. It's funny. You should have seen it. He didn't think it was all that funny, but I did. He's sitting there yelling at him, Oh, you, you damn cows! <laughs> Anyways, let's walk around the backside here. And this is a shed he just built not too long ago. I'm just storage. It's real windy out here. We're kind of in a valley of open space. And there's our machine storage shed. Take a little walk back here. Some more cow pasture over there. Look at all that land. Lots of it. I don't even remember how much we farmed here. 180, 200 and some. I don't remember. Anyways, we got some tractors. Nah, as a kid, we only had little tractors. I think our biggest tractor was like a little smaller than that one. But, you know, today we got some serious firepower. What do I mean by firepower, man? We got a couple Case Internationals. We got this 2 plus 2. He's a moose. And we just got a versatile. Look at the size of that buggy. He's a tank by himself. Well, we'll walk out here. I'm back looking back up there. You know, years ago we used to store a lot of hay in here too, but. You know, things are a little different since when I was a kid. Well, everybody, I don't know if you can read this or not, but this is a plaque that was dedicated to the family here. It uh, says, dedicated to the people that owned and farmed Rover's View Ranch. Louisiana Purchase Ranch to USA in 1803. USA to ASA Fay, October 12, 1841. John and Christine Robers, November 18th, 1889. Joe and Agnes Robers, February 25th, 1938. Herbert and Lillian Robers, now these are my step grandparents, January 2nd, 1965. And then these are my parents, Stephen and Debbie Robers. So, as you can see, they've owned this farm for a long time. I know things have changed a lot. Mike from Mike's Homestead. This is my stepdad, Steve. We're going to talk a little bit about the farm. Um, Steve, can you tell people a little bit about yourself and what you got going on here? Uh, this is the, I'm the fourth generation. The farm was originally bought by uh, John Robers in 1884. And I'm the fourth generation, and my son Ben is the fifth generation. We're now up to about 550 acres, of which the original farm was a hundred and then another hundred or another 90 acres was uh, purchased right after World War II. The uh, we're farming about 400 or about 550, about a little less than 200 in hay, about 230 acres of corn, about 100 acres of wheat, and 100 acres of uh, soybeans or a little more. We presently are raising what we call our intensive cow calf operation. We are milking eight cows and we're feeding about 50 calves. And we are, we quit milking cows in September of uh, 2011. And we started this intensive cow calf operation. And we hope to be eventually up to a little over 200 head of steers, which would be about 100 steers marketing a year. Cool. That's cool, yeah. I, I was actually telling people as I was walking through the barn a little bit, because I, I had told people before we had a dairy farm originally and that you, you were working in this beef thing, so I didn't really know how to explain a lot of that, so it was good that you, you kind of talked about that. But that, that's basically all I was after, is a little summary of what you know what you got going on here. I showed some views of what's going on. And 
appreciate your time. And Sounds real good. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you, Michael. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Take it easy, guys. Thank you. If you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, leave a check mark for a like. Thanks a lot. Bye.